it's Twyla's mom, and by the name of the title, we are going to do some organizing. Well, I've already organized, but I'm going to show you how I organize. <laughs> A while back, someone had asked me to show how I organize my washi tape, so I thought I'd give you a quick, you know, show of how I do this. Now, these uh, plastic containers are called, oh, what are those called? Stack something, but you can find them at Walmart. Now, they will not be with the ordinary, um, oh, storage bins and things like that. These are in the office supply department. They cost $5.97. They um, have these snap lids. And I really, really like them. So, let's get into this one. I have five of these. And only one is not completely full. And I have categorized each of them. This one right here is for my, oh, odds and end type uh, washies. And then I have another one with flowers. And then I have another one with solid colored ones that are glittered and solids, you know, solid colored washi. And let me see. Hang on one moment. Well, I'll just show them all to you. How about that? How about if we just look at all of them, okay? So this is one that's just kind of a, you know, mis mixed matched fun, fun one. <laughs> we'll just call it the fun washi. How about that? Then we have the solid colored washi. And see how full this is. It is full. They hold a lot, a lot, a lot of washi. And move these out of the way and then we have the flowered ones this one isn't full yet but see at that and let me put the lid back on and this is my geo uh, I don't know if you'd call it geometrical designs or just um, shapes shape designs there we go i have polka dots i have um lines i have oh boy these kinds of designs you know that's what this box is for now i'm going to show you real quick how i divide them these right here are the desk organizers from the dollar tree and you can fit three in a row here and they are so nice to put in here and to just separate you know by colors or what have you now I don't have enough for all five of my um, washi tapes because my dollar sweet tree quit carrying them uh, let's see but what I did do to kind of improvise if I can show you this real quick I found that sometimes you can use a silverware holder to put in there and then you've also got this little gap to put kind of put some more in but you have to make sure that it doesn't have the cutout sides like some of the silverware holders do have this is a solid one it's got the you know the even sides to it so those will also fit in there. Now let's put this one down. But you may have noticed I have gotten so many of the geometrical designs, you know, like the lines, the polka dots, and, you know, just those types of things that I no longer need to have a divider for them. But these are so nice, and they hold a lot of washi. Now I'm going to show you another box I have. These are 
what did we call these? Like the the um, die cut type washies, I think is what they are. You can get them at Dollar Tree. Um, the this one I got at um, oh the Wish app, but they're like these. We've all seen them. <laughs> but I just keep these in this clear acrylic uh, container. Now for my skinny, skinny washi, remember we were able to find a whole bunch of those at Dollar Tree a few months back. Uh, it might have been about six months, but anyway, I have this container here that I keep them in. And I've got them separated by color and what all. But you can flip this over, and this is where I have all my pinks and some oranges and stuff in this side because I didn't have enough spaces. <laughs> now, I bought this one at Walmart thinking that this would be the answer to all my washi storage issues. And I think I paid like $6.97 for it. Oh. Excuse me, I was just grabbing a drink real quick. I can't really remember. Let me turn it around. But here is the tag. If anyone wants the measurements or anything of that. And this was found in um, the crafting section. The sewing and all that. But I'll tell you what. This one I did not care for at all. You're very limited in where and how you can set them because this lid won't always close. But that's okay because it is serving a purpose for some of my washi. I put my holiday washi in here. Back here I have my Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's, and then a, little, a few Valentine's were up here in the front along with some Easter. And then on this side, the open space, I've got the emoji tapes that we can get at Dollar Tree. And all of the washi samples that everyone sends me, I put right here on top. So that works perfect for that. And on right here, I've got a few scraps of that. Um, oh boy, what is that stuff called? The die cut washi that we get? I can't remember. But I've got a few just odds and end pieces of that and then also to a washi cutter but yep I did not care for this one right here see I'm having trouble shutting it you kind of yeah it's this one right here holding it all up right there so that's why I had it down <laughs> but yeah, I just did not care for this one, and uh, I'm going to have to get another one of these stacker ones. But I love the ones, um, these right here. Let me show you real quick. These are my most favorite way of stacking them, or of um, storing my washi tape. So, I hope this was helpful for, helpful for everyone. If you are interested in finding these, you will have to look in the office supply um, department at Walmart. And they are $5.97. But they are just perfect to hold all your washi tapes. I really, really enjoy them. And they stack nice and neat right on top of each other. And I think they're called stackers. So guys, that is it. I'm going to get off of here. Um, leave me a comment down below and tell me how you guys uh, store your washi tapes. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.